the word of God is coming to you by Jesus Shetai YouTube channel and is saying the Spirit of God is revealing and warning Christian keep the fire burning encouraging Christian pleading with the Christian and saints of God keep the fire burning keep the fire burning keep the fire burning God is warning the church of Ephesus the seven churches of Revelation there are seven churches described in the book of Revelation, chapter 2 and 3. Seven churches. And every attribute of the church applied to the church of today. The message of today, this time, this hour, is about the church of Ephesus. Are you here in the church of Ephesus? Remember, the church of, of Revelation, the seven churches, is the church of today. Are you here? If the Holy Spirit uh, allow, we will speak other churches. There are seven more churches, six more churches. Church of Philadelphia, the true church, worshiping God uh, in truth and spirit, which is Revelation 3, 7 to 8. Sorry, 7 to 12. This message about Church of Ephesus. Are you here in the Church of Ephesus? God is saying, keep the fire burning. Church of Ephesus, Revelation chapter 2, verse 1 to 7. Revelation chapter 2 verse 1 to 7 You have forsaken the former lamb You used to be very Christian Very devoted and true saints of God And the Holy Spirit is saying When people are going abroad Especially in developed nations like Australia, Canada, America, Sweden Europe countries Western countries like America, Canada The rich nation like um, uh, The rich nation like Qatar Or the rich nation People are forsaking Christ or becoming neither cold nor hot and calling men of God sick and seeing the work of God is foolishness they delete and block people preaching the word of God but they allow people that are doing things that are secular and you are Christian I'm talking about Christian not non-Christian uh, it's very rare and not at all see somebody for example I come from Kenya Nobody from Kenya can ever criticize any said of the word of God. If you have WhatsApp and you send message of God to people across the globe, people from poor nation will never comment and say you are sending too much. I send many messages in all over the world. Only people in abroad, Kenyans, complain. For example, in other have even been deleted from YouTube, uh, blocked by WhatsApp. There is nothing wrong with these people. They are good people. But God said, remember, when you go to America, when you go to Australia, remember me. When you build good houses, when you build fine houses, remember me. God said it's very hard for people who are aware of to go to heaven and to reach heaven. It's very hard for rich people to enter heaven. It's as hard as camera going through the needle hole. It's as hard as a donkey or camel going through a hole of a needle. The church of Ephesus, these are the people who become rich either in Kenya or if they went abroad. They are no longer committed. They were chairman in the church, chairman of an outreach ministry. They were the chairman of ministry of outdoor, door-to-door -door ministry, teaching out people. And now they see the work of God is foolishness. This is the word of God. Revelation chapter 2, verse 1 to 7. Church of Ephesus, are you here? If you have gone down you you have forsaken the way you are devoted work with the spirit of god and now you have stylish christianity style even when you worship is style when you see people doing radical worship when you see somebody doing sacros 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 like putting ashes doing something funny for god to hear you say this person is has schizophrenia has bipolar this person is sick sacros were done all the time from the bible Daniel refused to eat when he realized what is going on, the plan ahead. There are people who put ashes onto them for God to hear them. We see people say, I'll cry by a big building for government to hear my grievances. Even to the government of man, people, you see, why are you crying there, top there? They say, I want my grievance to be heard. I saw one person, I think in a developed nation, had cried by a very high building. And he said, I want the government to hear my grievances. Even in God's kingdom, people used to do sacros, sacros. 
even fasting is one of the sacrum. I will not eat. I will not wear a jumper. I will not feel cold. I will not sleep for God to hear me and hear my cry. People who are going through tough time, they pray so much and they are used by God. That's why you see people in poor nations, they are so real Christian. Very genuine real Christian and their worship are real. But the same people when they go abroad, they forget that it is not worshiping God to get rich. It's not worshiping God to get a visa to Australia or Canada. It is not fasting to get a husband. It's not fasting to get a visa to Denmark. Limited, limiting um, God philosophy of salvation. It's philosophy of Christianity. The philosophy of salvation. It is not worshiping God to get a husband. To go to Australia or Canada. You can fast 100 days to get a visa. But when you get that visa, you return to your former Egypt way and, 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 and a freelance life. And you are very devoted Christian. Philosophy. Even in marriage, people don't know what marriage means. Marriage is getting children. So when children come, man and wonder, is this the same girl who was so romantic to me? Same wife who was so good to me? But they really think marriage is children. Even in Christianity, people think marriage is worshiping God and giving a lot of money to the church for God to hear you, to give you a visa or a husband. God is warning, this time, the church of Ephesus, you are here if you are, went abroad and you change your way of worship. You are chairman of door-to-door -door ministry, crusade, going knocking to people door, telling them about Jesus. And now you say, I've been told by many people, and they are Christian, if you keep sending things there online, people will say you are mad. And some have gone even to apply me to be forced to treatment because of daily share of the word of God. And Jesus said, don't stop. Unless only that we need money. But Jesus said, preach every day. When Jesus said, send 72 disciples, he told them, don't even carry food. Go preaching every day. Eat where you go. Tell them to give you food. Because God wants the gospel to be done every day. Remember, if somebody died, no time to repent. We must do it with the speed and finality, as God says in the book of Romans chapter 9. And act 1-8. Many Christians, the spirit of God is warning, they are going to reach nation and now they start stylish worship, stylish prayer. They, when they see you so much playing, like the way T.D. Jacks play radical. Rabba Shaka Rabayanda. A stream or evil. They say, this is not all right, this man. And they were Christian. There is no style in going to worship God. God say God is close to those who are broken hearted and not in spirit. And the mucus come, they shed tears, cry to God. Cry. And that's why you see many Christians who are going tough time. They are so genuine. And those in poor nation. Because of the problem, they go to God in Awi, in brokenness and loneliness that they are so holy and God hear them. But if they are not deep-rooted, if they go to America or Sweden or Denmark or Australia, if they were not deep-rooted and they didn't know why they are Christian, maybe they were worshipping to get a husband, to get money for their school fees. If they didn't know they need also to worship God, the main reason is to grow to the standard of God and also enter heaven. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that whoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. That is the principle of salvation. That is the philosophy of salvation. Ecclesiastes chapter number 12, verse 13 to 14. We were created to worship God. Psalm 150, last verse say, everyone who breathes, every creature that has breath to worship Jesus. We were created as a worship being. We were created to worship God. We are in the world to worship God. We are in the world to be godly people, worshiping God, if possible, like 24 elders in heaven. Every day. Every day. People who handed over Jesus were Christian also. Because they were not moving with the flow of the Spirit. It is about traditional Christianity. The Spirit of God is warning, and they handed over Jesus because of blindness, spiritual blindness. Because if you don't walk with the Spirit of God, you can see, you can discern, you can know. The Spirit is warning the church of Ephesus. You are forsaking the former lamb. 
Remember the Bible says, if you're not careful, you will fall here. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 1. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. The great move away from the truth of the professed Christian and start worshipping Satan and doctrines of Satan and deceiving spirit. Be careful you don't follow here. The Bible says in 2 Peter 3, last verses 16 and 17, be careful you don't follow from me a secure position of holiness, Christianity, and heaven ticket and destiny, and you fall, but grow in grace to grace, in the holiness, and from one glory to the other, preaching Jesus and living holy and worshiping and praying for yourself. Stop criticizing people preaching. Jesus told them in the 11 hour, can you pray for yourself in one hour? Can you pray for yourself? If you die today, people die of road accident. People die mysteriously. You see a bumper and scary people, rat slider. If you die, will you go to heaven? You stand there like a God judging others. Matthew 7, Matthew 7 verse 1. The same verse 1 to 2. The same judgment you use will be judged. Stop judging. Can you remove the pack out of you? Pray that you enter heaven. That if you die in a time from now, you go to heaven. The Bible of Revelation says, Happy are they die in the Lord from now henceforth. May you be one of them. The Bible says, Happy are they who die in the Lord from now henceforth. Because when you die, you will not repent again. You must support people preaching, not criticizing them. Because Mind yourself, are you holy? Are you the Bible says in Second Peter 3 na, chapter 3? Second Peter chapter 3 is talking about the days of the Lord, the day of the Lord, the coming of the Lord. Remember, if you die, that's the day you can repent again. The Bible says in Second Peter chapter 3. What manner of person can you do you ought to be? Are you holy? What manner of person? Evaluate yourself, evaluate yourself every day. What manner of person is you? Are you spotless? Are you blameless? If you die mysteriously, will you go to heaven? You stand there like a God judging others. Remember the Bible say Matthew chapter 7, verse 1 to 2. The same judgment you used to judge others, you'll be judged. Jesus said, pray for yourself. Mind your Christianity and your heaven destiny. Support the ministry of God with money or prayer or advice, but not criticizing. Paul said, even though they are showing off in singing, others are preaching to be to show others. Others are preaching to show how they are charismatic. Others are singing to show how they know how to sing. After all, they are preaching Jesus. Can you try to open YouTube channel and try to encourage people? Let people say you are showing off. Teach people how to play instruments, worship God. Let people say you are showing off. Paul said, let, even though others are showing off, it is all expanding and, and letting Jesus to be known globally. Can you open YouTube channel? Don't keep organizing a lot of work. Bring food, bring what to bring, to sing to people in the world. You can do that, but at the same time, open YouTube channel. It is quick and time-saving. Give the message God has given you to the people. We are in Isaiah 43, Isaiah 60, Isaiah 61. God has joined the whole world. And he said, I'll bring your children together in horse and chariot together. And join them and say, North, give them out. South, give them out. East, give them out. During the time of restoration and sealing of the people of God, God will join the whole world together. We are in this timeline. WhatsApp, TikTok, Facebook, Zoom. This is the prophetic timeline. Somebody open a, 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 a WhatsApp group for your area. For area you live in. People of Surai, people of Nyandarwa, people of Adelaide that God made those people to create those Facebook group and YouTube and uh, sorry, WhatsApp group for gospel to be preached. You also send a message of God there. That's why, but others don't know. It is a Kenyan in Adelaide, Kenyan in Melbourne, Kenyan in America. The purpose is for the word of God to be passed there. That is the principal reason. May you be blessed as you purpose, not to be church of Ephesus, but church of Philadelphia, of Revelation chapter 3, verse 7 to 12. The true church worshiping God into the spirit. Flow with the flow of the timeline. May you be blessed as you purpose. To not to burn the fire. Keep the fire burning. Don't put it under the table. Put it on a hill. Let the glory of the latter church be upon you. May you shine for the others. As the Bible says, Isaiah 43, verse 8. Isaiah 4, 4 verse 2 to 3. Isaiah 11. 
11, 10 to 11. Daniel 12, 3, shine for others. Shine, shine. Isaiah 60, 61, shine. Shine by telling people the word of God. Shine, stand up there. Don't hide the light of God. You went to Australia. You went to Canada. You just go to church on Sunday and you used to do door to door every day. Can you shine for Jesus? Shine for Jesus. Open YouTube channel and build the people of God. And correct people. As the Bible says in the book of Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 18 to 21. Correct all people. Telling them the right way of doing this. In marriage, in worship, in rearing children, in the way of worship God. Tell people the truth. Correct. It's mandatory for Christians. Open YouTube channel. This is the timeline we are in. Do not listen to people deceiving you. First John chapter 2. Verse 26 to 27. Don't listen to those who are misleading you. Listen to the anointing and timeline and prophetic timeline and the anointing work on you and the word God is giving you and steer the gospel. Expedite it with the power of the Holy Spirit. May you be blessed. Hallelujah.